This is going to be the flashlight review of the Through Night TC15. So let's go ahead and take it out to the swamp and see what it does. Alright. What a better time to review a flashlight than other than when it's finally getting dark. Alright, so uh, we'll go over uh, uh, some of the, the good points and some of the points that I feel that can be improved. You know, they're just pretty much opinions, uh, you know, the way I see it. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and say some of the good things about it that I, that I noticed. Okay, the, the knurling on it is, is very well. It's a, you can grip it well in the hand. Uh, it feels good. I, I, me personally, it's my personal opinion. I would like for the light just to be a tad bit, tad bit longer than what it really is, but that's fine. It depends. It's a personal preference. It comes with a, man, stuff's jumping around over there. It comes with the Cree LED. Now, the cool thing about the Cree LED is that if you remember a couple months back, we had did a, uh, we did a flashlight review for the WildTac A4. And remember, we called it, you know, it was a thrower light. Well, uh, interesting enough, that same LED that's made, manufactured by Cree is also in this light. This light goes up to 2300 lumens, okay? And quite frankly, it's a little ass-kicking little light. I will say that much. Um, but with all that power, you know, all that power comes battery consumption, you know, so there's a good and there's a bad, but, uh, and we'll discuss that. So, uh, like I said, uh, the fit and finish and all that I like about it fits well. It fit is solid in your hand. It's it's nice. It has a USB charger right here on the back side for everyone out there that just you know they don't know how to deal with the flashlight or they won't pull it out all the time for whatever reason. Just plug a little uh, USB mini on there and computer, whatever the case may be. Off you go. The light just charges. I did test this. All right. I did test it on the charging mechanism multiple times. It charged every time without fail, and it charged relatively fairly quick also. And I would take the light and I would let it run on the brightest setting for, uh, you know, for a whole minute solid straight, and then I would charge it up to see how long it would take to charge. And it, it's a very uh, nice little impressive little light. All right, so let's open the flashlight up right here. Okay, right here. Okay. It does come with the battery. All right. It's the same type of battery model. This is in most of the high capacity flashlights. The uh, 18650 model. A very well, uh, very well made flashlight battery. Very solid. It fits nice inside the compartment. And uh, goes right on in there like that. Uh, one thing that I wish, I wish the tail cap was a little bit larger. Um, but it's not. This is a personal preference. So when you put the cap back on, mosquitoes trying to eat. When you put the cap back on, you're going to have to push a little bit more to collapse the spring and then start the rotation. All right, and then it'll go ahead and bite. With a longer cap, you wouldn't have had to necessarily push all the way in like that. All right. When you power on the flashlight, it's pretty much like most all the other lights, and there is some features on here I do like. Um, when you power on the light. Okay, the light does stay on, and I like that feature. The light does stay on, and it shows a, a, a like a light little purplish blue. That means everything's good to go, and it stays through there till you always get down to like 30%, and it changes colors and gets to be red, and then it'll flash red when you're really going uh, dead. But as you can tell, it does stay on there. The beauty of the light is the power cycle. You just hold, you just basically hold the... Uh, the button down right here and it cycles on through and it goes up all the way around and it goes back down okay but we'll hold that off till it gets dark you push it and it goes out just like a typical regular flashlight that you might be accustomed to no tail switch right so there's no tail switch so the negative thing that I will point out in my opinion of course is that if you were to drop the light or you had to get to the light very quickly. Uh, say an animal, in, in, my, in my case, if I had the light with me, an animal could be coming out of the bush and charging me real fast. 
and instead of shooting the animal I would come up with a flashlight and I would hit it with the light real fast and they normally would deter off uh, with no with no tail uh, switch on there I actually got to get my thumb right on the money in order to engage the light and that would be my negative part right here the light is very well smooth it's very smooth made and you could have a little bit of difficulty getting to the light switch to get it on to be able to like hit an animal real quickly with the light now if that's not a problem if that's not a problem for you if you're okay with all that that's fine this is a beautiful well crafted light I really do like it um, the light switch and the USB charging are opposite so you can feel it with your finger right there you can feel it so that might help you be able to, to gauge where to push the thumb and where to where to engage the light at okay so we got Betty right here she hasn't held the light in her hand not a single time just yet so what I was curious I was curious to know how fast or how many seconds it's going to take for someone to engage the light just by me flopping it in their hand real quickly right <laughs> okay so you got to be able you got to be able to get to the light switch and get it turned on there's no tail clip right okay. there's yep. no tail switch so I yep. get like a regular flashlight hit it on okay so here we go I'm gonna count are you ready yep thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four Woo! <laughs> all right four seconds it took two hands I noticed I watched it took her two hands yep. she held it one hand and rotated it till she hit the switch mm -hmm. Right now, I will say the switch is smooth, ain't it? Yes. It's it's that's that's really my negative. It's, yeah. It, if but, you had to get it on quickly, yeah, yes. because you're fumbling around trying to feel for that what a button would feel like. Yes, but but it's but I I think it's well made. What do you think? I mean, what does oh, it feel? Oh, definitely. Now I I don't mind that because it fits my hand. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just me, mm -hmm. female. Um, I do like the light. Mm -hmm. That's a keeper. That's always a plus for me. Um, and it is seriously bright. I'm just looking at it now. But otherwise, it, I did feel like I was fumbling around trying to figure out how to turn it on. Yes. And that's what I will say also. I That's my overall... If I had to really say an improvement with the um, manufacturer, I would say maybe if... Uh, the light switch area might be a little bit rougher. Maybe the switch itself could feel a little rougher. Maybe. Yeah, because it's almost flush. Yeah. And I'm digging in my pockets. I'm trying to find my diffuser. If I put it back in my pocket. No, I, I think I got it. You might have it? Yes. Okay, good. So put the diffuser on. There you go. See? Wow. The diffuser goes on that just as well. All right. Yeah. So pop that off. Okay. And it also, let's see if it takes a standard. I think I just twisted it off. Yeah. So let's see if it takes a standard. Um, I might have yeah, twisted. you twisted it. There, right it there. Goes. there you go. So let's see if it takes a standard uh, light right here. Oh wow! See, oh, that's pretty cool. Pops on also standard red uh, tip flashlight cap. Yeah. So you can go tactical with it as well for all you tactical minded guys out there. I know you. Uh, or ladies. Oh, I know you like that. Or if you go on camera, you just want to save your night vision stuff like that. Yeah. So it does take that as well. Yeah. Works real well. Pops right off. With no problem at all. Now I will point out before we do the light testing and comparisons with other flashlights, I will point out that there is, there is a great feature right here. All you have to do, and I think this is really awesome, all you have to do to get to that ask to get to that butt kicking 2300 lumens is a double tap. Bam bam. It goes to full juice. So I didn't even have it fully. It goes no, nope, it goes to full juice. Wow. Right there. So turn around, put it in your hand, <laughs> okay. and give it a double tap. Wow. There, there you goes. go. That's the double tap. Okay. That's bad. Yeah, turn it off and hit that double tap again. All right. There it is. Yep. It's butt kicking, man. It's yeah. a lot of juice. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so now comes the light comparisons uh, testing for an absolute darkness. About as dark as we can get it. We're in a swamp right now. Uh, <laughs> interesting sounds going on. So we're going to do uh, 
the high beam, high beam testing. So Betty will be having the competitor light, and I'll be using the uh, TC15 light, and we're going to be shooting them across the river right here and showing everybody what it looks like. And we're going to go to that 2300 lumens. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going up to 1200 lumens, and then we're going to hit it with the 2300 lumens. All right, so it's going to be pretty good stuff. Okay, so you ready? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's go dark. Okay. All right, that's the sofa in 1200. This is the... Oh my gosh. Wow, now that's not, <laughs> hold on. That's the, that's the through night flashlight. All oh right? wow. That's not the double tap. Are you, oh. Are you kidding? All right, do yours again. I'm gonna turn this one off. All right. Do your double tap. <laughs> All right, is that, is that, that the brightest that is, setting? That is, is the that brightest. Is that the brightest setting? Yes, this is the brightest. Really, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, see? No, you got a double yeah, tap. hit the little light well, one. You told me to hit the rear. I think it's on the highest setting. That's what you told me. Yeah, I think I did have it on the highest you setting. You said it was already set for the highest setting. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is on the highest setting. There it is right there. Stop. That's yep. the highest setting. Yep. Okay, turn it off. All right, now let's hit, let's hit the through night. Bam. Much okay. brighter. It's got a wider flood, mm -hmm. and as you can tell, all right, now let's tick it off. I'm off. Yours again. All right, now there's mine. Oh, it just, yeah, you could tell. Okay, the through night. Okay, let's turn them off. Now, hit yours, and then I'm going to do the double tap. <laughs> the 2300 the, lumens. Here we go. Oh, wow. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. You can actually see in the jungle. Look at this. And you can see in there, and you can go fishing with that thing. Look mm -hmm. at that. That's pretty amazing when you can just take the flashlight. Okay, turn it off a second. You can take the flashlight and you can do a double tap and here we go. Watch this. Double tap. Bam. Mm -hmm. 2300 lumens. It has a wide flood on it too. You can really spread it out right oh, there. Oh, you night fishermen, that's great. Look yeah. at that close stuff. Look at that. Go hold Man. it in the water. You're just Let's really, see if something jumps out. You're just, you know, you're go just... Go half, half lake. Half lake. Man. Go more in the middle of the lake. Right there. And the uh, light has a safety mechanism in place. The light has a safety me mechanism in place, I'll say that. Uh, the, the highest, the longest it'll go on that particular, uh, on turbo, which is 2300 lumens, the highest it's gonna go is 23, uh, two minutes for 2300 lumens. And it's done that for safety reasons. So it starts to get hot. Yeah, to it's gonna get, yeah, it's gonna get, it's gonna get, it's gonna get very warm. I will say it, get, it will get very warm. I will say that. Not definitely. hot to where it would drop the you're flashlight. Not go, you're not, you, well, not like that, but you're not going to be wanting to grab the end. Yeah. It's like welding arc bright. It will, it will hurt your eyes. Yeah. It's like looking into a welding arc, and it's that bright. Yeah. So it, it does have, the, like I said, the protection mechanism, because, you know, it's, it's, it's really uh, sucking a lot of power. and mm -hmm. It's, it's going to protect you. After two minutes, if you were to forget about it, it's going to stage down and it's going to step down to the next level. Okay, I got So you. it'll just stay That's on That's kind of high. a cool thing to have. Yeah, though. it's got a good protection mechanism built in. And like I said, if you're if you're out camping and, you know, it's got this USB charger. If you're out camping, you're hidden doing a lot of turbo stuff, mm -hmm. playing around with your kids. Be careful giving it to kids, people, because this is extremely freaking bright. This is, this is butt-kicking bright. Um, and we're going to break out the WowTech. All right, we'll break out the wild tag and we'll make the comparison with the wild tag. All right, same LED, it's the same type of LED, except for the wild tag is powered by two pa two batteries. All right, mm -hmm. it has a wider a wider uh, little cup on there to be able to throw the light, and mm -hmm. we'll see what it looks like. Make mm -hmm. the comparison. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a we're going to do a uh, comparison from the wild tag flashlight. I have that here, the A4. It's basically the same type of Cree LED, and we're going to see the difference here. What kind of power you have in that lamp, and what kind of power you're going to have in this flashlight as well. All right, so let's okay. do it. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> okay, the WowTac. It's more of a, a focused. beam. Focused. Yeah, it's, it's more, more focused. Yeah, more focused. You can even see the beam. It's almost like a lightsaber, you know. It Look, look, you can see the beam right there. Now, is that the double tap, the highest setting? I believe so. Let me try it again. Try it again. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now keep yours going. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a double tap on the through night. Okay. Okay. There's a through night. Wow. Okay. 
The beam is not as focused, obviously, because the, the head of the lamp is not as big. Yeah. The beam is a little bit wider on this one. Okay. So the the Wildtac light does punch in deeper. Yeah. But it's a but my God, look at the size comparison of the lights. Yeah. Okay. This one you put in your pocket. This one you know you got to put in your backpack and you mm -hmm. carry around. So it's definitely. And you see they're, they're the LEDs, so you can see them both. So there is a yeah. comparison on some of these things. All right, so let's turn it off. All right, how hot is that? Feel that? Yeah, it's not even, it's barely warm. No, feel this one in my right. hand. Dang, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, folks, so it does get hot out yes, there. Yes, it does. All right, so let's do it one more time. All right. Let's hit yours. And uh, uh, hang on. Let me know if you see Bigfoot out there. Let's try it one more time. There you go. All right. That's the A4 Wild Tag, and then here's the other one, the Through Night. There's 2,300 lumens on the Through Night. I just think it's a personal. It's a lot of light. Preference. It's I a, mean, it's I a, like a, that. It's a lot of light for your pocket. Yeah, <laughs> I like the more widespread look of a light okay, instead of it. Hold yours down if you can. See the beams. Can you see the beams on that one? See mm -hmm. how they spread a little bit better right yeah, there? Yeah, mine's more focused. Yeah. Mine's more. There's much more focus. This beam has a little bit more of a throw on it, a mm -hmm. little bit more of a, uh, a spread. It's not as focused. Yeah. But it does real well up in the trees. But it is getting hot to my touch right now, so I'm going to turn it off. So, because it uses an awful lot of power. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you it's use a very. This but I will say it's it's got this it has this Cree LED on it that's a very economical LED. Mm -hmm. I mean I read it and I researched on it. It's like I researched the Wildtac. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will also say to when I'm summing this up and put some light on myself right here to uh, sum this up right here. This is a very well made flashlight, but it's going to cost you more because you're getting more freaking lumens on this lamp right here. Um, this is no doubt you're going to be able to own the damn night with your whatever's coming out of your pocket. Come on. You pull this out of your pocket, you turn it on, you're going to own the night. I mean, it really just illuminates everything. It's not going to have the weight. It's not going to have the weight nowhere near or the size as the as the uh, the A4, the Wildtac A4 model. You're not going to have that size. No way. See that right there? I do love both of these lights. I'll say that. I do like both lights. They're awesome little lights. Nice anodized. It doesn't scratch up very easy at all. And I would also say that if I had to rate, if I had to rate this one, you know, I would also, I would spend my own money and I would also buy it as, as well. I would give it uh, five Bigfoots also. Yeah, I, I would. With five, go buy one. Yep. You know. And uh, I didn't take the light and I didn't throw it in the river. I didn't beat it up. I didn't bash it, quite frankly, because I think it's a nice light. <laughs> Yeah. It's a nice light, and with nice <laughs> with nice flashlights, I like keeping my li lights. I love flashlights, and I, I keep them. I love them. I collect them. You know, I'm an army guy. You know, that's how you own the night. And um, <laughs> what more can I say? Go get you one.